You're a strange one, sir. It must be something special to convince you to return. Although, if I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock, I might return too. Well, whatever you're doing, be careful. Goodbye, sir. Long time no see, Mario. Totally glad I got to see you again. This is so awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. So, are you ready to go? Wherever you want to go, we are so there with you. Hello everybody, this is Nintendo 14. Playthrough on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we defeated the vile Shadow Queen and restored balance to Rogueport. Well, it was balanced uh, before that, but we saved it, darn it. And this part, we are now exploring the after game. And just little things that we uh, can do that n now that we've defeated the Shadow Queen. First things off, we gotta get those pesky 13 uh, star pieces that we never uh, seemed to got back in that last uh, part where we were going to get all that. So by accounts of all the all the uh, badges that Dazzle has and the amount that uh, sh she needs for the uh, so she can hand us the badges. We have a total of about uh, 13. We, we already got uh, five or so that we need to to just give her. But um, you're going to see me do this. Well, I, I only show this off for once because uh, eh, for, for, uh, for uh, pacing six. But uh, if it's obvious, obvious enough, I'm going to be uh, post commentating this section of the video. But later on, we're going to get some live commentary where I go ahead and do this. All right, go ahead and take care of more after game stuff or just rather optional stuff uh, that you could have taken care of uh, during the main story. But I want to set it aside for uh, when we beat the game. So if you had as much struggle uh, as I did with the star point or star pieces, then you can come to uh, uh, the house right beside Dazzle and you can pay a few coins and they'll give you a clue on where the star pieces are. So a lot of these uh, I found in the partially uh, height strain. And here I, I do have to, uh, alongside the star pieces, you will see, uh, I'll go ahead and collect some of the in coupons that I somehow missed. There aren't a few, but uh, just for a, click a collection sake, I'm just going to store all of my in coupons in the item storage and just have them all there. I mean, it's nice if you use them, but... Oh well, there's, uh, th there's this one star piece that you just saw it like a, mo a few months ago. Uh, you can only get that one star piece, which was, is located in the train room, or the, the engineer room. Uh, uh, if you want to get that, be sure that you are heading towards Pashi Heights. So that means that you have to have the train facing to the right. So I'm also having to stick in these battles too. That way, uh, there's no question on where I'm getting all these star pieces, or star points from. And I'm getting them mixed up. Star pieces, star points. But anyways, uh, another thing I could mention is that, uh, the second time you get onto the Poshly train, not everybody that you saw from when we initially started, or in our first run-through in the train, they're all not there. So, like, Pennington's not there, the businessman, the, the blue rabbit is not there, Bub's family isn't there. They're all replaced by just uh, generic uh, NPCs like Toads, and sometimes actually Yoshis. So there's a uh, notable difference there. Uh, it wouldn't strike me that you're able to do that during the main story, but uh, I think you could. So now we get into the uh, Pirates of Grotto here. Uh, th there are a few items that I somehow missed, but this one I need to come back here just uh Alright, come back here after I get the spring jump, or spring, or ultra boots just to get. It's a jam and jelly. A uh, pretty useful item if you really uh, burn through the FP. Especially if uh, if you really needed it for like the chapter 8. We're just uh, going to uh, blaze through all these star pieces. Just how quick the montages that I'm making them are. So I hope that like there's no confusion in you know where I'm getting all these. But um... Anyways, this is actually the first video that I have uh, uh, edited uh, using Sony Vegas. 
all of my other videos that I have previously done were through uh, Roxio Video Wave, which is the editing software that came with my Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, which um, the Roxio Video Wave I've uh, been using for almost uh, three years, but and now uh, it took me into uh, it took me like about I'd say about three or four playthroughs until I fi finally figured out that it's a piece of crap that just runs really slow. And the more edits that you do, just makes it run even slower than it already does. So, eh. just because that it just made me want to go over to the more efficiently uh, used uh, editing software in Sony Vegas. And don't ask me how I got it, too. You wouldn't like it. So anyways, uh, now that we beat the game, I forgot to mention this, too, but... We can now return to the x -Snap Fortress, but more importantly, the moon. And we have some unfinished business uh, up here in the moon. And that ZX is related to it. First, I'm gonna have my past self just kill that moon cleft. He has a super shroom. She could have done something a little bit with it. But, um. Anyways, we'll just let him attack for once, and that one enemy that we're. That's, um. I just uh, overlooked uh, during our main story. And now, we're finally gonna go ahead and tattle it. Hope there's not more enemies like this that I've skipped out on. That's a mini Zyux. It lives to protect the Zyux. There could be as many as four. Its HSP is two, attack is zero, and its defense is zero. If you don't clear out these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the Zyux. Using multiple strike attacks to take them out at once is totally a good idea. I mean, I respect them for protecting their whatever. Well, we gotta get them no mercy. And so that's all I wanted to show with that battle and... Uh, for the sakes of, uh, I wanted to try and, uh, get some alone time, I decided to spend this next minute in this, uh, moon area, just wiping out all the enemies and just getting my one measly star point. I think another thing uh, with the star points is that now that we've beaten the Shadow Queen, almost all the enemies that we go back to battle uh, in previous areas that we've already been to, uh, most of them are going to have to, oh, I'm saying... All of them are go only going to give you one star point. Uh, we have to go to a another uh, area that's just as tough as, as the Palace of Shadow if we're going to get any more uh, star points. Although I, I think I believe uh, you could go back to the Palace of Shadow if you really, really wanted to and wanted to get more star points that way. You could go back to the Palace of Shadow. That is, that is a thing you can do after you beat the Shadow Queen. But some, it's a long journey through there, and if you want to go deep, then you have to suffer the, from the fact that you have to backtrack all the way. So that's up to you if you want to do something like that. But some, yeah. I finally uh, took care of all these dang star pieces. I hope I never have to find myself uh, having a hard time collecting all these dang things. I got all 100 of them. I'm just going to celebrate by trading them all in for ba badges that you get from Dazzle. And that lovely last piece of dialogue that Dazzle says after that, it's just amazing. I'm out all out of badges. So, all that really means is that uh, we got all the badges and we traded them in. We, we got all the star pieces and trade them all in for the badges. So anyways, we're getting to the live commentary portion of this video. Uh, if I ever have to stress, stress or struggle over something like that ever again... Then, you know what, I just shouldn't bother with it. Anyways, we got all those darn star pieces. Not a single one that we never missed. So that means, alongside with our star pe or our star sprite, or shine sprite count, geez, I can't uh, distinguish star and sprite, or just really similar words from each other. It joins that with zero, so that means uh, we got all of them, we turned them all in for uh, the good stuff. So now, since we uh, the star piece section took about 10 minutes of the first half of this video. We're going to take the rest of this and we'll take down all the trouble centers. Now, uh, during the main story, I did take care of uh, these two. The elusive batch. This is the one where you get Miss Mouse to join your party. And then the Zesty, where she seeks the legendary cookbook that allows her to uh, make it so you can give her two items and then she'll mix them together. Those are the only two that I have already taken care of uh, during the main story. But the rest of these we're going to take care of right now. 
This first one is called Garf. It's, the first ones are going to be really easy, but uh, as we work on through the, all these, they're going to get uh, more uh, challenging. They call me Garf. I have lost my key, and thus I cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in the report. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back of end of East Rogueport. Want to take on Garf's trouble? Yes, we will. Do it and do it right. And I think I, another thing I should also mention uh, during the post commentary section is that um, guess what, guys? While I was recording the star piece section, and I was about ready to like make sure that the recording is okay and whatnot, and you know I I want to make sure it's okay while I was uh. Er, make sure it was okay and uh, in results I wasn't gonna save my game until I knew it was okay and uh, by the time uh, I just figured out that it's okay the power went out so that means I had to do all that uh, section of the star, star piece collection again but uh, that second run through uh, I didn't uh, record that and if if you ever see like my coin count or my star points count different then that's why so, uh, that's all I got for that so you took on my trouble, you? Okay, then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get in my house, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure, sure. Well, uh, whenever you say like where you could possibly leave it, then that's the best. Uh, that's the best uh, lead that we have. So this one trouble, I think. Um. The very early on troubles that you can possibly take down, uh, they all uh, are connected to Rogueport, and you don't have to venture out too far in order to solve these things. So right outside the bad, bad shop, there it is, exactly where where uh, Garf uh, said it could have been. It, there's our house key. All right, I got it. I might do a couple jump cuts here and there, thanks to Sony Vegas. They'll be a lot. It'll be more bearable to uh, just pay, just paste all these together did you find my key yes we did there you go yes my key i can finally get inside my house again home sweet home thank you please think this is a payment for your efforts all right get 20 coins so if that wasn't obvious enough uh, the, some of these troubles well this, this one in particular you could have just done during the main story and the more you progress through the main story of the game then the more troubles you get so like the ones at the very bottom you won't get until like I don't know if you beat the game or if you beat chapter 7 so the next one we got on our list is uh, this is Magoomba and I have a simple task and I need someone to have something delivered fortunately for reasons I won't mention I can't be seen walking around Rogueport meet me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Plaza we'll take on Mr. Magoomba's trouble Funny how it's it is like prefix name starts with Mick or MC. It's like implying he's associated with Ronald McDonald. I'm sure like McDonald is like a household name now, and the the Mario universe. This is the way Mario universe is gonna parody that name. You never know who will be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfree. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. Try not to be seen. You got a box. Thing Megumba asks you to deliver to Goomfree. I will promise you I won't be seen, but I'll try. My noble Kool-Aid steed will get to you faster than a blink of an eye. And right... It just only took us one screen to get there. Exclamation mark. Here's a box. The package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way that no one will ever find it. Tell Magoomba I said so. And do me a favor. Forget all this, you hear me? It never happened for your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Magoomba my message, they'll give you your com compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to Magoomba. Okay. I kind of forgot that last bit you said, but sure, I'll do it. We'll just go back to Megumba and confirm that the box will be destroyed. Whatever's inside the box. Maybe some used condoms. Maybe dildos. Did you deliver it? Whew. You saved my neck, buddy. 
Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck. You get something good. 20 coins. It's no uh, bigger than the last reward. And so my coin count is get, uh, getting uh, pretty astronomical. So that means I, you may have to see me buy a gold bar or three from uh, the, the Rogueport sewer shop. But if that... Oh, well. I got an extra coin. Oh, I got a little bit more. Maybe maybe it didn't register while I was on Yoshi. Anyways, we're getting to the third trouble. This is Arthur. I want you to open a new shop. Er, I, I want to open a new shop. But I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go to a competitor shop, I need some research done. I need the price of fire flowers, sheepy sheep, sleepy sheeps, and tasty tonics in Rogueport. I'll meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. We will take on our first... He's just dead. Commentating over repeating dialogue. So here's the guy right here. He's the little bear with the green hair. I didn't check the prices. Whoops. I'm counting on you. Remember, I need to know what the Toast Bros Bazaar charges for. Fire flowers, she sleepy sheep, and tasty tonics. So yeah, if, if uh, this, if all this uh, that we're doing right now isn't so uh, interesting, then uh, it's not going to get uh, any more uh, interesting from there on. Maybe a few uh, jubbles here on there, but uh, there's nothing else you're really missing out on since we beat the Shadow Queen. But uh, I would like to stick this extra bit in because it's it's a really fun thing that you could do after you beat the Shadow Queen. And I didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to check the prices here for your Tasty Tonic, Fire Flower, and Sleepy Sheep. So we got a combination of uh, 3, 10, and 8. Tasty Tonic, uh, Fire Flower, and Sleepy Sheep, respectively. So let's just try and uh, keep that information in the back of our minds as we're backtracking here. Because I'm sure uh, something like this could... Uh, just happened to me where I, I'd get back to Arthur and I forget the prices for each and every one of them. So, perfect. Okay, I'm ready. First, how much are they asking for fire flowers? They're asking for us for 10 coins. Oh, wow. Like the other answers just make it so like it's not uh, it. I see. And for sleepy sheep, 8 coins. Well, it's the first story that you can get to in the game. I mean, their prices are going to be pretty reasonable and cheap. And how about Tasty Sonic? How much is that? Three coins. It's like a uh, certain thing. It's like all, all it really does is uh, heal status conditions. And it doesn't do anything else uh, besides that. These are some very low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm. Even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But it is certainly helpful information. Here's your reward. Good work. 20 coins again. Right. Don't worry, the, the rewards are going to get better uh, the you know, the more difficult that you get to do these challenges, or troubles. So like, uh, these ones don't do you too much in the way of rewards, but the ones uh, down here will. So anyways, uh, let's, uh, have, let's help Goomper find this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, my name is Goomther. Please find the guy that pulled off credit card fraud on me. I'll be in Rogueport Plaza, so come talk to me. Alright, I, I do like the... How uh, these guys mention the Rogueport Plaza. That that means uh, uh, they're in the very middle of Rogueport. Just the area that you see... That you find yourself just going through. You know, with the inn, the bat shop, and the item shop. So, is this guy right here? Hey, you're here the... Oh, first try. You're here to handle my trouble, aren't you? Then listen up. Larson... The bandit uh, pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up for it, but the guy is too wise, and I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere in Rogueport, so I want you to find him. By the way, bandits are those guys in blue outfits who wear masks. These are several. Er, there are several in Rogueport, but this one will fess up w once you grill him. Do this and you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you. Alright, so, uh, uh, since this is still an early trouble, you can just eliminate any, uh, bandits that are in the west coast, and, um, some that are well in the east coast, uh, just rule those out. So just go for the ones that you can access as of, uh, the prologue, basically. 
So if you talk to this guy, I don't think this might be our uh, culprit here. So, and he's just saying the same things that we uh, uh, first uh, talked to him. So he's not it. So I think we have to now go to. Let's see. There's none out here. I don't think there's any bandits in the Rogueport dock. So that area is eliminated as well. So just this uh, Middle East section right here. We could talk, maybe talk to this guy. You man, here the number one. I'm... Okay. Now, nope. uh, I'll just go ahead and just get on uh, Yoshi and just jump over that one gap that you can get to Bobby, there, Bobby's house from uh, after I talk to this guy. You got a problem? Well, what are you looking at? Unless you got a business with me. Scram. What? You want to return the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh. How'd I let myself get caught? Oh, there he goes. Yep, he's it. After him. So glad that I didn't have to jump over with Yoshi. Implying that you can't do this trouble until you uh, beat Chapter 3. Well, get, get to the point where uh, you can get Yoshi. Did you find Larson? The guy's on the verge of giving himself up. So don't worry about what he'll do. Just keep after him until you catch him. By the way, Ban... Did I just read the same thing? Alright, so he, he ran off. And now we gotta go find him. I, I don't distinctly remember some of these uh, troubles. Maybe I should have just uh, went ahead and uh, made a little practice run. But uh, give me a moment here if I can find where he went uh, went off to. There you are. I see you in the corner. So you think that bandits don't uh, patrol the Brogueport docks? Cripes, the fraud police. You don't give up so easily, do you? You can't make me pay. Now, if we stay persistent, we won't. You go back here, little rascal. Making me spend extra minutes just to try and find you. Oh, wow, I'm taking less time to find him. All right, he's in front here. Cripes, the front police. Ah, shoot, you're, you're serious. Pff, fine, I'm a man. Do with me as you will. Looks like you got him. Nice. Here's your reward. 20 coins, again. So, since you looks like you're all out of dough, I'll take you out of your hide. Eek, no, please. T so he's like kicking him in the tushy as they're moving forward. Anyways, we solved the trouble. Right, Return back to the trouble center. Just go on with the rather, rather simple troubles. Mouse a million here. Wow, nice name. I know uh, one similar like that. And he plays a lot of fighting games on YouTube. He's a really good commentator, too. I need some help jogging my memory. Meet me in Rogueport Square in front of the shop. Want to take on Mouse a Million Shubble? I don't think I'll ever get tired of saying that name. So, uh, he needs to... Uh, uh, we're going to just, uh, uh, I don't know, figure a way to uh, jog his memory on something. All right. Go to Rogueport Square for this, and he's the purple mouse right here. Sniff, sniff, sniff. You accept my trouble? I smell it. Thank you. I found a good lead on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. So, I want to use shock treatment to try and remember it. Yes, indeedly. Indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with that hammer until I remember. But be careful. If you hit me after I remember it, I'll uh, forget it again. Okay, let's do this. Yo, press B. With this, um, I found that um, uh, it's easier to do this with the Ultra Hammer than it is to do with like the regular hammer or the Super Hammer. But um, as he said, no, oh, nope, it's not coming to me. Uh, no, need the definitely. Uh, uh, we can definitely try again. But I'm sure I'll remember eventually. So come back and hit me anytime, okay? So we gotta keep trying this. Nope, we're gonna stay here until like we get it. So I think um, uh, I I feel like I I shouldn't um just keep hitting him. Uh, because uh, uh he he will say like if you hit him after he remembers it, then uh we just lost it and we have to start over not coming to him we still got to keep talking to him this will take you a couple tries to get but 
Uh, don't believe uh, my theory of uh, it's bet it's like you'll succeed if you use the ultra hammer. I'm sure like uh, the hammer, I don't know, the, the ratio of where you can get it isn't any different from any other hammer you can get. So uh, I'll just keep whacking and oh, finally got it. Uh, just in time as I was running out of stuff to say. That's it. Remember now, I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop shop in Rogueport. And sell it for a two coin profit in Petalburg. Yeah, I'll let that be a tip. Uh, I'll be. I'll let that uh, tip be your reward. So don't spend all those profits. Solve the trouble. That's it. Yeah, one thing. Well, it's kind of a rip off uh, now because, or it's a dated reward because uh, you could just look that up and up on the internet and you you know that information for free basically, and you didn't have to whack him on the head several times. But uh, I guess it's a nice thing there. To like uh, see it as predated from the internet. So getting on to the next trouble. I think this is the last one we do in this video. This is Bomberto, and I need you to do something shopping. Please come back uh, right quick, cause I'm starving. Meet me in Rogueport, out at uh, docks. Mistake on Bomberto's trouble. Sounds similar to uh, Roberto. No, Roberto. I'm not good with Mexican names, but. I'm not good at pronouncing Mexican names, but I know uh, Alberto. It's like a Mexican name, and that's the name of like a. It's the name of a uh, restaurant. Like it sells burritos. So I think the best thing to do is talk to the guy that uh, we're taking the job for. Move it, your land number. Oh, huh? oh yeah, right, right. You took on my trouble, eh? My wife brunch bought my lunchbox to me. But it was empty when I opened it. I'm so hungry. I could eat walrus whiskers. You gotta bring me something to eat. I bought, um, uh, let's see, uh, ah, whatever, anything, anything. As long as it's food. I'll get to it. Let's see if I have any food in, on me in, in my inventory. Oh, we gotta kill a mingo. Maybe I'll eat that straight from the southern island of Kilhaw Key. Did you find me something to eat? How about a kill mango? I like that, do you? Right? Hey, that looks right tasty. Nope, nope. Oh, oh. Yep, that hit the spot. Now, here's your reward. 11 quiz. That's even worse than the rewards we've been getting. Thanks, mate. Save the trouble. Yep, with that kind of depressing thing out the window where you're just getting crappy reward like that. Uh, to next time for part two of the after game of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. As we're going to be tackling the next wave of... Uh, troubles that you can do and they'll go above and beyond uh stuff we can take care of uh outside of rogueport so till then i'll see you guys later